They came in their tens of thousands in a giant wave of protest on the streets of Minsk. Belarus is now in its third week of turmoil following a disputed election on August the 9th. These people say the result was falsified to keep authoritarian president Alexander Lukashenko in power. This protest on August the 23rd was one of the biggest yet. We are standing for the honest elections. If the elections were honest, no one would have gone out on the street. But as you see, no one believes in these elections. We need changes. In this country, I want to be my daughter in this country. And I want to live in a free country. Western governments have also said the election was not free and fair, a view they took of every previous election during Lukashenko's 26 years in power. But this is the biggest challenge there has ever been to his authority. The opposition have set up a coordination council to negotiate a transition of power. The authorities responded with a criminal investigation into its activities. Pavel Latushka, once a culture minister under Lukashenko, now a key member of the council, says he's dismayed by the probe. Фактично, ну, я думаю, что это один из элементов, как бы поуплывать на деятельность координационной рады. На жаль, бо идея нашей координационной рады заключается в том, как дать импульс, дать абсолютно ясный сигнал, что мы затекавлены обмерковывать и выращать эту склавшуюся ситуацию политическую. At a news conference on August the 24th, the council announced that two of its members had been arrested. In another sign that Lukashenko has little taste for dialogue, state media released these images of him, armed for combat in a bulletproof vest, a day earlier. His son Kolya was also pictured with a firearm. On Вот, насколько успешно, я думаю, что власти будут зажимать гайки понемножку, понемножку, шаг за шагом, потому что вот первые три дня попытались очень резко, и в результате оказалось, что резьба сорвана, общество возмутилось масштабом репрессий. Thousands have been arrested, and videos like this, showing the sheer brutality of their treatment, have shocked many people in Belarus. The authorities have now threatened a new crackdown this week using the army. But some believe the tactic could backfire. То есть, по сути, даже люди, которые вроде бы и подустали от протестов, вроде бы и были склонны, может быть, уже меньше участвовать в этой уличной активности, а получили подтверждение, что вот после понедельника, если они не как-то укрепят свои позиции, будет им совсем худо и репрессии вообще примут массовый характер. Lukashenko, who has the support of Russia, has claimed that NATO is massing forces at his country's borders, a claim dismissed by the alliance. There has been widespread Western criticism of the Belarusian authorities and protests like this one in Lithuania in support of the opposition. Its presidential candidate, Svetlana Tsikhanouskaya, is currently sheltering in Lithuania after apparently being pressured by the Belarusian authorities to leave the country. The prospects for her return and for a wider resolution to the crisis are unclear as the standoff in Belarus continues.